हेलो दोस्तों वी आर बैक विथ अनदर वीडियो आज हम आए हैं लोटस टेंपल में आज मैं हूँ मेरे वाइफ के साथ कहाँ है हाय बोल दो ठंड ठंड लग रही है आपको ठंड लग रही है आपको अच्छा बहुत ठंड है यहाँ पे दिल्ली में चलो हम अभी जाके एक्सप्लोर करते हैं लोटस टेंपल सिंस इज इनाग्रेशन टू पब्लिक वर्शिप एंड विजिट In December 1986 the Bahai House of Worship in New Delhi India has drawn to its portal more than 70 million visitors making it one of the most visited places in the world on an average 8000 to 10000 people visit the Bahai House of Worship each day these visitors have admired its universal design in the form of a lotus and have been fascinated by the teaching of the bahais faith especially its tenets of the oneness of god the oneness of religion and the oneness of mankind the bahai house of worship of the indian subcontinent joins six other bahai house of worship around the world apia west samoa sydney australia kampala Uganda, Panama City, Panama, Frankfurt, Germany, Wilmot and USA. Each of these houses of worship while sharing some basic design concept has its own distinct cultural identity embodying the principle of unity in diversity. One common characteristic of Bahai's house of worship is that they are all nine sided nine is the highest single digit and is symbolic of comprehensiveness oneness and unity within the houses of worship the holy scriptures of all the major religions are read or recited at prearranged times hey guys welcome back to my channel uh, i have with me mariam fazi and uh, she would help us understand and tell us something about uh, the lotus temple so yes um hi everyone um as you know uh, we are the bahai house of worship which is commonly known as the lotus temple because of its shape um you may know that the bahai uh, the lotus temple is a bahai place of worship um but then it is not restricted to um only the bahai so the house of worship actually welcomes people of all um different faiths and all races and all uh, walks of life to come together to a common place to pray um so it symbolizes unity um and the house of worship was built in 1980 it took 6 years for the construction to get over and as you can see that uh, the the shape of the monument is a lotus which mm -hmm. is actually very significant um in the indian um culture um the architect mr faribor saba actually extensively traveled across india and he um tried to understand the architecture of different houses of worship whether it was a hindu temple or a mosque or a church and he said that wherever he went he couldn't escape the lotus um so the lotus also being the national flower of um the country actually is a great symbol of unity and purity um and hence it was made with that uh, intent of the structure so this is a little bit about the lotus there specific uh, you know uh, timing yeah so currently with the uh, restrictions due to the covid 19 mm -hmm. um the prayer hall is closed except for between 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock okay. it's open for the visitors to go inside the temple after which it is closed okay um and at 10 o'clock there's a special prayer service which mm -hmm. is an interfaith prayer service where um prayers of all scriptures are read and recited okay it was really great talking to you and thanks a lot for providing me the opportunity to uh, cover this place and to be in my channel thank thanks you. The Bahai House of Worship welcomes all to meditate and pray in silence. No sermons or lectures are permitted, nor any rituals performed in the prayer hall. These houses of worship are built solely from voluntary contributions from the members of the Bahais community, who consider them their loving gift to humankind. 
the lotus, the national flower of India, is a recurring symbol in the religious architecture of the Indian subcontinent. The ancient symbol has been given a modern and contemporary form in the structure of the Baha'is temple, drawing to its prayer hall people from all races, religious background and culture from across India and around the globe. The Lotus Temple, as the Baha'i House of Worship is fondly called by many Indians, is surrounded by nine large pools of water that not only enhances the beauty of the building but also play a significant role in the natural cooling system of the prayer hall. To the people of India, the lotus flower signifies purity and peace, a representation of the manifestation of God, rising pure and unsullied above stagnant muddy water. Indians have traditionally seen this flower as worthy of emulation, teaching us to be detached from material preoccupations. When the Baha'i House of Worship was first opened to the general public on January 1st, 1987, people from all over India and all walks of life came to see it from sheer curiosity. The vast lawns, the massive white marble structure, the high ceiling prayer hall and a place of worship without idols arose the interest of millions. Many visitors come not merely as spectators but to offer prayer and attend the prayer services which are held several times a day. Many visitors have penned their impression in the visitors book maintained in the library of the house of worship. The house of worship also continues to be a source of great interest to the media, both print and audio visual. It has been featured in television programs not only in India but in many countries including Russia and China. The Baha'i World Center Library has archived more than 500 publications which have carried information on the Lotus Temple in the form of articles, interviews with the architect and write-ups extolling the structure as a marvel of 20th century architecture. Soon after its inauguration, a number of prestigious awards were conferred on the House of Worship in India and its architect. On 25th June 1987, the Institute of Structural Engineers UK gave their special award to the Lotus Temple, which they called a building so emulating the beauty of a flower and so striking in its visual impact. On 19th October 1987, the Interfaith Forum of Religion, Art and Architecture, affiliate of the American Institute of Architect, Washington DC, gave their first honor awards for excellence in religious art and architecture 1987 to Mr. Feribos Saba for the design of the Baha'is House of Worship. New Delhi. Eventually, मैं जाके अंदर जो उनका administrative department है, उनके साथ मैंने बात किया. बात करने के बाद I had to fill in a form, and then you know after a lot of request, they gave me the permission to you know to shoot this place. Fortunate enough and. Uh, I'll show you uh, the entire place. Uh, my daughter and my wife were running here and there. Mere piche wo bhaag rahe the. But I had to be with the, uh, the coordinator there. Unke saath mujhe re, rehna pad raha tha. Kyunki wo mujhe saare jagao ke baare mein bata rahi thi. Ki kya hai, kya nahi. See my daughter's face. Uska mousse hoog gaya hai. Tam. उसको उसको कुछ खाना है इसने उसने मेरे को पूरा लिस्ट बना के दिया था कल बढ़िया अभी हम जाने वाले हैं अभी हम जाके कुछ खाएंगे आपको कैसा लगा ये यहाँ पे आके मतलब आपको आपको ये जगह कैसा लगा है आप आपने एक चीज़ नोटिस किया ये जो मंदिर है लोटस टेंपल बोलते हैं ये एक मंदिर है मगर इस मंदिर के अंदर में कोई भगवान जी का मूर्ति नहीं है 
मेडिटेशन और प्रेयर जो उन्होंने बोला कि अंदर में बैठ के आप प्रे भी कर सकते हो और मेडिटेशन भी कर सकते हो तो उन्होंने ये एक बहुत ही अलग चीज़ है इस मंदिर के बारे में कि ये इस मंदिर में कोई मूर्ति नहीं है ये देखिए गाइस पीछे ये पार्किंग लॉट यहाँ पे गाड़ी पार्क वार्क करने का जगह है In 1989, the Lotus Temple received an award from the Maharashtra India chapter of the American Concrete Institute for excellence in a concrete structure. The House of Worship was chosen as one of the 30 best designs for Quatermero 90 International Awards for Innovative Technology in Architecture. In this video I would be also sharing you the key individuals involved in the constructions of the house of worship. We are now out of the temple and I've just covered a little bit of uh, the surrounding outside the temple and my daughter was insisting on uh, me buying these dolls for her but rather than that I purchased this uh, purse so she was really happy. So uh, that's it uh, you can see uh, now there's a long you know line uh, of people who are uh, intending to visit the temple since uh, it was early uh, in the morning we did not find much uh, rush in it uh, we were able to uh, enter the temple easily uh, these are the some of the uh, road side uh, Uh, you know shops selling uh, bangles and other stuff so if you're interested you can uh, have a look there we are heading towards the end of the video now and before i uh, finish i would like to say that if you like the video please like it share it and subscribe it and take care of your parents help the aged and stay safe bye bye